Hey YouTube, Ivy Figs here. Welcome to episode 22 of Mail Mania. Now, obviously, this package right here is from Amazon, so I'm gonna waste no time. Let's get right into this. Um, so, one of these items in here is something that I already have. Um, I'll go over that more when I open this thing. So, first, yeah, we'll talk about that item right now. It is, oh yes, this one seems, well, from first glance, this one looks much better. It is, oh, actually, <laughs> I spoke too soon. I look down here, and it's, a, it's like been dented a little bit, like someone's grabbed it really hard, and it's like dented the packaging in right at the bottom. But I do have to say it is better than the one I already have. It's WrestleMania 34 Elite Bruce the Barber Beefcake. Now, I... Uh, when I was in Las Vegas, um, I did buy this figure and it got damaged on the way back in the luggage. Um, I really protected the, those figures well that I bought back from Las Vegas. Um, so the only way they could have got damaged is if, is if someone stood on my bag. Um, so yeah, my bag was missing for a while, popped up and yeah, so... I don't... <laughs> that, that's enough on that subject now. This one, it is better. Um, yeah, it's, I'm not that happy that it's got a bit of a dent down there, but what can I do? It's better than the one I have. And next, the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller, the Amazon and Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Best of Attitude Era, Chris Jericho. Now, I really like the concept of this line. Um, I really like how it was originally Amazon exclusive, but then Ringside Collectibles swooped in and got it too. Um, uh, really cool concept, and out of the three figures in the set so far, The Rock, Stone Cold, and Chris Jericho, this is definitely the one that stood out to me more, Attitude Eric version of Chris Jericho. I just really like the look of it, the Raw is Jericho t-shirt, that's pretty iconic. And looking at the back of the packaging on this one, this one is in pretty good condition, so I'm very happy about that. Let's move on to the next package in this video. This package right here is from Amazon. Now, I, I seem to say this most times we get an Amazon package. It's not an episode of Mail Mania unless we've got a package from Amazon. And most of the time that's true. We usually unbox an Amazon package in these kinds of videos. So, ooh, what do we have here? Yeah, we got two figures in here. First one is the new SummerSlam series version one. Version one, Matt Hardy. I was so excited for this figure to come out, and I'm so stoked that they're doing the interchangeable hands. And the version one, Matt Hardy. This is something that I've wanted for years. Such an awesome look for Matt Hardy. I'm a big fan of the version 1 Matt Hardy. I'm so glad that they were able to do it. Two interchangeable shirts and two interchangeable hands with the V1 size. First ever interchangeable hands. Such an awesome release, Matt Hardy. And next one, in the same series, we've got Edge from SummerSlam 1998. The old school Edge look. Now, when they released the Elite Series 13 Edge figure, um... It, the demand for that was so high and it, the, it just it's worth so much now and I wasn't really willing to pay all that much for it so I'm so glad that they've released another Edge figure from around that time period. It's a different attire but um, all I wanted was an Edge figure from back in the day. So it would be awesome if they released a Christian figure maybe around that time um, but yeah, there's still the Elite Series 20 Christian figure, but awesome release here. Um, yeah, let's get into the next package. Let's not waste any more of your time. This last package here is another one from Amazon. I'm just going to start cutting into this now. Now, for this one, well, I'm not sure about now. I haven't honestly checked since I purchased this, but at the time of me purchasing this, this was only exclusive to Prime members, but I really wanted it, so I had to sign up for a free trial to Prime. And after I unbox this, I'm gonna go onto Amazon and cancel it. But this figure right here 
It just looks awesome. And they've actually put some protection in it for once. They put some air pockets in here. It's been a really long time since they've protected it um, at all. So it is from the newest Elite Series. We have Elite Series 60 Triple H. Now I'm a big collector of Triple H figures. Now there are a few that I'm missing, but um, at least the recent uh, Triple H Elite figures, I've collected them all. So, this is from WrestleMania 33, the updated head sculpt. Um, oh, I'll go full in depth on this uh, when I give you guys the closer looks at these figures. Here's the back. So, yeah, let's have a look at everything we've opened today. First, let's take a look at the two figures from the SummerSlam series, Edge and Matt Hardy. So, just a quick look at the front of the packaging. The back of Matt's um, from SummerSlam 2004 when he fought Kane and Edge from 1998 when he was Sable's mystery partner against uh, Marvelous Mark Mero and Jacqueline. Um, others in the set, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, they're pretty cool looking figures. Dean Ambrose um, is pretty pretty much the same as any other Dean Ambrose elite figure. But Seth Rollins obviously in that red um, the red theme on the attire. So, first we'll look at Edge. Um, oh, actually, first of all, these two have had some amazing battles in the past. Um, in similar attires, I suppose. Edge, uh, longer hair, with the smile. You can't really see anything behind those shades, but I really like the inclusion of the shades. Um, I believe they used the face printing technology on this. Um, and going down, he has the big, long, black trench coat classic edge um and you can't see much of the tights unfortunately because i'm not opening this to um just for the review uh he has the black tights with the red with the gold outline um yeah sorry i can't show you much of that one but matt hardy right here this is one that i've been waiting for for a really long time here's the a new matt hardy head sculpt i believe it's going to be on that new ecw Ringside Collectibles exclusive Matt Hardy figure, which I'm definitely going to pick up. Uh, here's the V1 t-shirt, iconic Matt Hardy. I'm glad they were able to include that along with his warning shirt, which he, I believe he did wear at SummerSlam. Um, he's got the V1 left hand right there, so that's a good example of what it looks like, the interchangeable hands. And on this hand, it's just the normal one, I believe. But one thing they should have added is elbow pads. I don't know why they didn't put elbow pads with this one, but oh well. He has the white pants with the little dragon designs, if you guys can see that. And um, covering the zipper on the pants are some gold studs. And going down, he has black boots and the other interchangeable hands. I really, really like the inclusion of interchangeable hands, and I like how they're going to be using it more in the future. Something that Mattel WWE figure collectors have been crying out for since Mattel started uh, producing the line. So, very excited about those two awesome figures. I highly recommend them if you get the chance to get them at, at a good price. Next, we'll take a look at Y2J Chris Jericho and the Barber Brutus Beefcake. So first, we'll take a look at the packaging on both. Um, the this Chris Jericho has special Attitude Era style packaging, and Brutus Beefcake has special WrestleMania 34 style packaging. So looking at the back, uh, there's Brutus from... Uh, what WrestleMania was that? Um, I honestly don't remember, but uh, obviously... One half of the Mega Maniacs, it was with Hulk Hogan against Money Inc. And then Chris Jericho, there's a picture of him wearing that Raw is Jericho shirt. I think that might be photoshopped on there, but that's all right. And a decent description for that. I really like it. So now we'll take a quick look at each figure. Uh, first, we'll look at Jericho. He's got the WWE microphone. And he's got the classic 1999 Chris Jericho head sculpt that they used on his entrance greats figure back in the day. Um, it's probably the most suitable head sculpt for this attire. He's wearing black wrist tape. Uh, he's got the Raw is Jericho t-shirt. Very iconic. And the attire, I really like the detail on this. They're, it's red tights with um, the silver and black barbed wire going around now i believe an inaccuracy is the knee pads here i really like the inclusion of the knee pads i'm glad they're able to give us knee pads but he didn't wear the knee pads with the red and all that the, the same design as the tights he actually wore black knee pads with that but i'm gonna forgive it because at least they still gave us knee pads and for any loose collectors you could easily swap it out and he's wearing black kick pads the classic with the 
Does it say Jericho on the side? It's really hard to see, actually. I'm, I apologize. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, black kick pads. Awesome Chris Jericho figure. Glad to have it in my collection. Now, Brutus the Bubba Beefcake. I think this tops his first Elite release because the face, it looks spot on. I think it looks just like him as we get it in focus there. Um, I think it perfectly matches the picture on the side here. Um, he's got his mask. He's got his shirt here, the yellow and red shirt. The interesting wrist gauntlets. Like all, a lot of this is unique molding for him, which is another reason why I really like this figure. He's got the clippers, of course, the barber shears, and the tights, and more unique molding for the tights with the tassels coming down. Uh, reminds me a bit of Macho Man Randy Savage, actually, uh, from his WCW days. Uh, but this was before then. And this is before Macho Man's WCW days, I should be more clear about that. Um, and he's got some maroon boots with the white lacing. Just two amazing figures here. Great detail. I especially like the the the, the unique molding on Brutus Beefcake. So yeah, um, do I recommend these figures? Well, if you're a fan of both of these superstars, then absolutely go for it. And especially if you have a Hulk Hogan figure to go with that Brutus, that'd be perfect. I unfortunately don't have one at the moment, though. So either way, it's just great figures. It's time to play the game. It's Triple H from WrestleMania 33 when he went up against Seth Rollins. Um, I was really looking forward to getting this figure, and I love how it looks in person. But first, we'll take a look at the packaging. Here's the front. It says includes entrance jacket and sledgehammer. Um, they could have used a little bit more of an updated picture for the side here with the beard and the shorter hair on top. But oh well, everyone still knows it's Triple H. Um, here's a picture of him on the back more more current look i'd say uh some stats about him over here get some focus in and a description uh of him against seth rollins uh some career highlights and the others in the set uh man's elias figure it's so hard to come across now i'm personally probably gonna pass on that figure but i've been trying to buy one for my friend morgan and amazon just Keep selling out of it. It's just really hard to find because everyone wants to walk with Elias. And fair enough. Fair enough. He's really popular at the moment with his new album and whatnot. Uh, looking at the face, uh, if I can get some focus in here. Uh, it's a new Triple H head sculpt. And they've put some more age on it. It looks like they used the older Triple H head. Uh, the one that, that came with like the most recent Triple H elites before this. And they've they've um, made them more aged, a couple more wrinkles on there. The wrinkles are more defined. And of course, the longer beard. Uh, I just, I'm a big fan of this head sculpt. It looks spot on, just like Triple H. Um, now he's got his vest here, his entrance vest. I really like the details they put in with the zippers. It just, in person, it looks a lot better as well. Just the all the silver details on it, it really makes it look amazing. And I can't remember them using a vest like this for a figure before this Triple H, so it might be a unique mold, who knows. He's got the sledgehammer here, um, the two black elbow pads, there's, uh, the cross design on each. He's got the white wrist tape, he's got the, um, the white skull design on his trunks, if I can get some focus in there. Um, he's got the black knee pads with the white tape on the knees and the black boots with, uh, can you guys see that there? You can't really see, I apologize, but I believe there are some designs on his boots. But yeah, just amazing Triple H figure. Um, as amazing as it is, if you already have a couple Triple H elites, you probably don't need this one, but if you're a big Triple H collector, definitely grab this one. I'd say it's probably one of Triple H's best elite figures yet. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode on Mail Mania. We've got another one coming real soon. We've got some awesome stuff on the way. Can't wait for that one. I hope you guys are looking forward to that one. So look out for that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to show your support. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all next time. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos like this, feel free to check out the video right there. Follow me on all my social media accounts at the bottom of the screen. And most importantly, if you haven't done it already, click here to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.